Okay, so it's been a really long time since I've done like any poetry video or any sort of presentation of my work. So, and I apologize for that. Life's kind of got in the way and I've been working a lot. So I've been kind of lazy when I get home and whatever. So um, I'm going to do a few poems tonight or try and at least do a few. So this is the first one. And this poem's called An Acorn Catharsis. And basically I just wrote this poem because a, a classmate of mine asked me to write a poem using a lot of paradoxes, contradictions, and wordplay. And so basically I just comprised this poem about uh, all these things in life that I think make absolutely no sense and are completely contradictory and crazy and kind of put it all together. So hope you enjoy and here we go. Acorn Catharsis. <clears throat> Last night I was bitching my friend about the world. In the front seat of my 2005 Chevy Cobalt, <laughs> Loki. He's a mischievous car, a 21st century vehicle with no power locks and windows. I mean, he's like a new generation kid feeling old school, I guess, but whatever. Regardless, we were talking about the trouble stemming mainly from the fact that we are living to die, regardless of what we hope to obtain. We are dying to live, mindful of what we hope to obtain. Secondly, although it's more of the mainly for me, but since I'm a mature person, the p bigger picture is always more dominant in my view. It's the fact that my bodiless and indefinable treasures are buried under solid double X's since one eve came to pass, finding that one cross is not enough, at least when you have faith in being, and realize the fact that two lines put together, man, pff, covers a lot of bullshit. And see, now, that's where the second set comes into play, the one that hides my desires. The problem is, every map I find, my X is marking a possible happiness, lies. And I keep unveiling heartbreak, trying to read the same nap differently. Now, I'll skip the tangent where I talk about how all the learning of critical approaches in English classes has caused my perception to be stretched to the point where, man, I understand everything about nothing. And critical approaches, more often than not, are for the children within us to be able to engage in intellectual teasing or, for short, na 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 na, -na my imagination is better than yours. So thank you, education, for making my perception more deceptive than it already was. But anyway, whatever. See, the point is, girls suck, and maps are stupid, since you take a right on one, it's now a left, and you're just fucking lost from then on, man. But this is where my friend comes in, with the age-old maxim, don't worry, good things come to those who wait. Be patient. I go to make my response. Because see, talk of this nature usually leads to proverbs or maxims, instead of admitting, dude, you have no answer. And oh, my response would have been beautiful, filled with such aggravating sarcasm. Oh, I love suffering. But before I get to the fun about how showing the fact that people don't even know what words mean, they always beg for definition, conversation just immediately stopped. There was a slight tap on the hood, as this fucking little mundane acorn ricochets off from my car and into the night, or, well, a few inches from my left front tire, but whatever, and all of a sudden, nature and being in the sea, connecting to nature and being within me, it shouts the epiphany, we are immortal mortals, secular spirits who will never gain the answer to whatever the, the true point is, at least what it is to us, and we will always be blind to when we have the things we want, we are spectral puppeteers who can never animate their marionette correctly, and we are always out of practice, regardless of the hundreds of shows we perform, so rejoice, we are all dazed and confused and completely screwed, and I mean everyone, everyone sucks, because we try so hard not to be named concrete abstractions, so rejoice, and embrace the eternity of this eternity that, man, you already know. I look to my friend, I mutter quick, holy fuck, under my breath, and I begin to laugh hysterically at who knows what. And all I know is, and all I guess I care to know is, man, last night, I was laughing to my friend about the world. Alright, cool. Uh, so there's that, and yeah, that poem's a little crazy, so if you have any questions about it, feel free to drop some off in my ass box, we can have some conversation about it, and that'd be cool. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll try and do a few more tonight, if not, I'll get to it uh, within this week. Alright, cool. Take it easy.